Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a sunny day at No Man's Land. We're going to start off the episode today by buying a new tool. It's cheap and it's useful. Then later on, we're going to lease a new tool. So what we need to do is, first of all, go into the classifieds, and in here we've got a subsoiler, a three meter subsoiler. We can work with that, that's fine. And we can take it used, which means we can buy it now. That's perfect. So, we will hook up to it. And I'll show you what I've done in between the episodes as well. So let's just attach. Uh, maybe if I drive in a much better way than that, it'll be useful. In fact, maybe if I go in here. I'll drive better. Okay. Oops. So we're going to get this guy repaired. Oh no, he doesn't need repairing. Ah, because it's not used machinery, it's machinery from the mod. Okay. Of course, of course. Right, so this subsoiler is going to be used to fix this field over here, the potato field. Now what you can also probably make out over there is a new field. I have made another field, yes. The reason for that is, why not? Let's have another field. So we're going to subsoil this one to start with. That's the first job. Then we're going to spread, I hope, compost on the new field. The reason we're not going to subsoil the new field, even though it technically needs it, is uh, subsoiling gives the texture of cultivating. And because that field has just been cultivated, I cannot tell where, um, where we've been. So I'm going to have to do a harvest on that field before I can actually do the subsoiling. We do also need to do subsoiling on the grass field, but I don't want to do it just yet. Hmm. We don't seem to be lifting up very well. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I don't want to do subsoiling on there just yet, because um, I think this field and the other one are better to do it on, because they're both empty fields. If we did it on the grass field, we would be destroying the grass, which means we need to then reseed. And of course, reseeding will cost us money. So I think we're better off leaving that one, just for now. Just until we get these two under control, I think. And the compost... I need to apply it to all the fields, really. But the compost is going to act like fertilizer. Now I do actually want to make my own compost, but the compost buildings are all permanent. And that means that I need to own the field before I can actually do it. A bit unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. But it's okay. We are making money. The bunker silo over there is going to actually be ready very soon, which means we can sell some silage in this episode as well, I hope. I'm really not liking the fact that it's kind of doing that. It's not actually affecting it, but it just doesn't look good. It's like it's not lifting up correctly. But this isn't going to be a big job. Even though this tool is only 3 meters, it is ripping through the field very quickly. Um, especially as our tractor is nice and powerful, our lovely new tractor. Well, it's not new really, is it? It's, uh, it's done 15 hours. I can't remember how many days old it is. Okay, let's just do a quick doppel check for sanity. Yes, there we go. So the plowing has now been removed. That's perfect. And it's being set to a cultivated state. That is exactly what I want. Okay, now because the compost is going to be a more interesting job, 
I am going to do this one as a jump cut and I will return once the field is done. That field is now completely subsoiled and we are going to go and check on the silage. Uh, obviously I need to find somewhere to put this tool. We have so many tools now and we're just kind of leaving them all lying around, littering in place. But that's just because I don't have anywhere to put them. Oh, that's tight. That was very tight. Okay, let's go and take a look and see how our silage is doing. Oh, 96%. Okay. Right, let's look at the leasing. We need to buy... It's in here. Compost... No, that's compost tea. Here. Compost. This is what we need. So, it is it is expensive. But it's cheaper than solid fertilizer. And I think... I think... I think it's cheaper than manure. Maybe we don't have manure in here. No, we don't. Hmm. Ah, uh, it was a mod I was using for manure, wasn't it? Hmm, that's annoying. Okay. Let's have a look. We check the classified as well, just to see if there's anything in there. No, there's not. So, we need a manure spreader. And I did have a look. I think this guy here might be the best. 9 meter width, 5.3 metric tons, only 9,500 to buy. These ones here, 2.1 and 3.75 metric ton, and they're also 9 meters, but they cost double and triple. This does require more horsepower, but I think this is going to work well. Leasing cost 484. So we'll get that. And then we obviously need to wait for this to be ready. The trailer is full with two and a half metric tons of grass silage. And it took me about, I don't know, somewhere between six and ten minutes to load up this trailer using our, um, well it's a skid steer technically, but the Massey Ferguson. That's a little bit too long, so I'm thinking that I could be a little bit cheeky. I could use my loading wagon to actually collect this stuff. Because I don't want to sell loads of it. We don't need to sell a massive amount. Just enough to start the compost job. So based on how much we're getting here, 1,200 per load. I think we only need to do two loads of the loading wagon I think is the same as one trailer so maybe four goes with the loading wagon would be enough just to get us started with the compost because we've already got the manure spreader up there waiting for us so I will do that and then we can move on to the more interesting job which obviously is the actual compost spreading we are hooked up and we've got 5,800. So we can buy five pallets, but I don't know how far these pallets go, so I kind of don't want to buy too many. I'm thinking let's go with three and we'll see how far that gets us. Can we refill directly? Yes, we can. It is refilling. It's just doing it quite very slowly. And we can decrease the spray rate like right down to 100. Okay, so... We're going to have to... Look at that. The compost is black. And I actually... I really like this spreader. It's, uh, it's got quite a cool... Kind of... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's the vintage look, I think. It looks uh, looks quite nice. It's the same reason I like the modern classics pack and classic cars, I suppose. Straight lines everywhere. And the wheels, I don't know what it is about them. They just look very cool. So. 
I've kind of changed my mind a little. Because I did say we'd spread compost on the new field, but why do that? Why not spread it here? Kind of seems like a good idea to at least try here, right? There we go. We are now spreading compost. That is awesome. And this is obviously going to help the field massively. And it looks like three might even be... Three pallets might even be too much. But at least with a nine meter spreader, we can get this done quickly. Very, very quickly, in fact. So, what I'm going to do... <coughs> I'm going to put this onto a time lapse. Uh, before I do that, I will take a screenshot so there'll be a little bit of a jump from the time I finish this row to the time I come back, but it will not be a long jump. So let's get at least the first two fields done, and then we can try and put this onto the grass field as well. We've had this conversation, and you seem to agree with me, but when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time i trip it's a free fall why don't you help me the way i help you you don't have to save me just be my parachute when i'm feeling down you're just not there making sure i'm okay why don't you help me the way i help you worked out quite well then that we could actually do this grass field um, especially because apparently one pallet was all we needed it it means we're gonna have to keep this manure spreader on lease uh, for quite a while by the looks of it to be able to actually get this compost out because I don't think there was an unload option we'll double check when we're finished. But if there's no unload, then yeah, we are keeping this guy. But I'm happy because we've got all three fields completely fertilized. And that does make me happy. I don't even see the unfertilized section here. 
Uh, okay, it's just a very small section. I really, really don't see it. I guess if we just drive up here, hopefully we'll get it. I think so. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to keep this guy on lease. Is there an unload? No, of course there isn't. Of course. So that's that's another lease cost, which I, I wasn't really planning on having another lease cost. I was hoping we'd be returning this at the end of the episode. But like I said, this is good news. Good news because three fields that are fertilized, one that's been plowed. Yeah, I'm happy. So I suppose we should seed. The question is, what are we going to seed? I'm still drawn towards wheat. But we need to have a look at the harvester situation. Oh, this sower needs a good repair. So harvester-wise, this is probably the only thing we can use. I don't want to get that because even leasing it is a fair amount of money, especially considering it's just a self-propelled version of this. This has actually got a bigger tank. Um, we've also got these Nevers, but again, they're expensive. So. Yeah, that's the cost of a field. I'd rather use this, I think. So if we're using that, then that can harvest wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. It can harvest corn. That's impressive. Well, I think, I think, we should probably go with the wheat, because then we can have some straw. And straw is a bonus. So we're going to need to buy some realistic cedar bags. 50 kilos. Uh, how much does this guy fit? 200, 250. 250 watt seeds? It's not very useful. We'll take two bags. We'll probably need more than two bags, but we'll see. Okay, we should probably open the back. That would help. Okay, so he's fairly full. 39%, right. So two bags is enough to get us going. Let's head over to the first field, which is going to be this top one. We have got all of that potato stuff on lease, so we should really do some more potatoes. Uh, if we do potatoes a second time, I think we can return all of that equipment because it will have done its purpose. And you'll notice that I haven't, um, I haven't got a new cedar because it just doesn't really seem like a good idea. This is a three meter cedar, I think, and it's not bad. One with more capacity would obviously be great, but we don't need one that applies fertilizer because we are not using fertilizer. So it's just about the width. And 
in reality, they're not that big. Uh, what we can fit on here. We can't fit anything monstrous because this guy is only 132 horsepower. He's not, you know, 400. So there's not much point really in having some monstrosity because we won't be able to pull it. And the next size up is pretty similar. So I think we stick with this. At least for now. I think this is a good way to go. Now unfortunately this is one of these episodes where I have absolutely no clue how long the episode will be. I know how long I've been recording for, which is an hour and twenty, but I don't actually have any idea what time we will end up at. However, due to real world restrictions, such as I should have gone to bed half an hour ago because I uh, do have to get up early, I am going to have to stop recording I think. So I hope we've got enough footage to make a decent length episode. If not, I apologise and you'll have something better on Saturday. But I will continue the seeding. Um, not now, but I'll continue the seeding off camera. I'll get this field done with wheat and the bottom field with potatoes. Um, and the grass will leave as is, for now. But, from me, here, in no man's land, where we've now progressed even further, I'm very happy. Very, very happy with how far we've come in nine episodes, to be honest. But for me, that is it. So, have a wonderful week, and I will see you on Saturday. Bye-bye.